Good morning, it's like 10.30 a.m. right now and today's plan is very simple. We're gonna write a lot of code for a very fun side project idea I have. It's an AI code assistant, but more about that later. First, we have something very important to do. we've obtained hot chocolate, I think I can explain my idea in a little bit more detail. Basically, large code bases are very hard to wrap your head around, especially when there's no documentation or nobody to ask. So what if you had an AI code assistant that you could ask all your questions to and it would tell you what everything did? Now you might be asking, why not just use ChatGPT to do this? Well, it's because ChatGPT doesn't have a large enough context size or a large enough memory, so to speak. It only has a 32,000 token limit on the higher end of the GPT-4 API. I don't even think the ChatGPT web app has that. So you won't be able Able to fit in very large code bases. So how do you get around that? Well, what you can do is take all of the code, embed it into vector space, so then you can search over the relevant functions whenever a user makes a query, so you don't have to go through all of the code, only the relevant pieces of code, and then boom, you're able to answer all the questions without hallucinating. This is very cool and it's already been done by Sourcecraft's Cody, so this isn't really a startup idea as much as it is a fun side project. Let's talk a little bit more about the details right now. All right, the flow is pretty simple for the user. They're gonna log in with their GitHub account, we're gonna get the GitHub repo that they wanna add the code assistant to, then we're gonna embed all the functions in a vector database, the user is gonna submit their query, then we're gonna search for the relevant code, then use the search results in combination with the GPT API, and then return the results to the user, and we're done. I don't have a ton of time to work on this today, but I think what we can get set up is getting the user to authenticate so that we can then get their GitHub repositories and then maybe start the embedding process, but I don't know how far we'll get along with that. And if you're curious about what tech stack I'm using to build it, I'm using SvelteKit and just TypeScript. It's going to be very, very fun. Got the sign in and sign out working and now I'm trying to get the get repositories button working, which it isn't right now for some reason, but I'll figure it out. Alright, we've made it so that you can actually just get the list of the repositories that you have. It's a pretty quick API call. These are all my repositories, including my private ones, which is pretty sick. And now that we're able to access these repositories, what we need to do is just let the user click a repository, then on the back end, send all of the information in that repository over to be embedded in some sort of a vector database so that we can later search over it. This is very similar to what I did in my video where I made a personal search engine for my YouTube channel. We're gonna take all the text in the repository, break it down function by function, and then embed it or convert it into a vector form, a numeric form, and then send it over to our vector database. Then later, when we search over it, we'll embed our search query and then find the most similar function to what we're looking for and then use that in our GPT API call. Setting up OAuth and getting the repositories took me a lot longer than I actually thought it would. So right now what I'm going to do is see if I can, you know, actually get the code for these repositories and then call it quits for the project for today. It works. I select a repository, Sankovi in this case, go down, hit submit, and then focus, 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 will it focus? Okay, I focus. And then it gets the repository, see it picks and Kobe, um, and then we're able to get all the data associated with the files. And that's most of the grunt work done, which means all I have to do is add the rest of the functionality of the app, which is 90% of the work, fix up the UI, and fix some of the bugs that happen when you deal with private repositories in the GitHub API. I'm going to be vlogging my coding projects a lot more, and even though they're not startups like I said in the title of this video, they're going to be cool and it'll give me an excuse to build cool things and make better videos because I haven't really liked how my past few videos have turned out. And this one's a little bit weird because I'm adjusting to a new format, but please leave your comments on how I can improve these videos, what else you want to see. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more coding projects, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.